This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and this week's going to be a little special. See, my son, he's uh, he was back in the hospital this week. Well, last week. He's still there when this is recording, and this goes out on Monday, Tuesday, whatever. He'll probably still be there when this goes out. Um, and he was supposed to get his last dose of chemo for those who are new to the show. My son had leukemia, so he's we were getting through all of the stages of chemotherapy. But he ended up with a bacteria infection um, on top of his fungal infection, and so he's in the hospital uh, just being looked at for a couple of days. We're hoping to get him home and just take care of him here again. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. But the, the short of the story is I'm soloing this week. And I had a bunch of ideas that I wanted to work on for the week that I thought I'd sprinkle through several weeks. But it made sense being solo just to like bust through them. One being I want to make coconut rum this week. Um, I want to explain a recipe I made last week called the Common Man's Aloe Apricot. Um, I wanted to answer a question about uh, what type of spirits should you buy if you're new to this. Like, what should I go out and buy to fill my bar? So, some things I wanted to work on in the week. This res- this recipe, this episode, I wanted to kind of make a little more personal. Um, it's not really a cocktail per se, but how I created the Common Man Owl Apricot. Uh, because I'm not a bartender, I'm not a mixologist. I guess everybody's a mixologist if they sit down they tamper with recipes. A lot of our viewers do and they come out really good. Um, so what I wanted to do was take the the core. The reason we made that entire drink was because the folks over at Aloe, right here, that's an Aloe, bloop, bloop, bloop. Um, this is Aloe Awaken, Aloe and Wheatgrass. Uh, they wanted us to make a recipe with some of their stuff, kind of promote their, their brand. So they sent us the stuff and they thought they could you could make some good cocktails with it. Everybody's been, you know, kind of experimenting with that. Another company who's done that is Vita Coco. We've done a recipe with their product. Um, We'll probably do more recipes with those products because they're good. But the purpose was, what do I pair with aloe? Who knows, right? Because aloe itself is kind of not a normal drinking thing for most people. Um, And here's some of the things I kind of experiment with when I go through what do I want to make something with. So I had aloe, and I wanted some sort of fruit that was kind of strange, a little different, which is why I picked apricot, which is right here. This is our apricot flavored brandy. And to pair that, I had some apricots. That was kind of where the idea came from. My daughter was eating a lot of apricots because we like to experiment with fruits and see what they like. Good for kids. And so the apricots are kind of tasty. And I thought apricots and aloe, the name goes. And then I thought, well, what, what's kind of green for a spirit? And that was why I thought gin. It's got, the, got that herbal greenness to it. Especially if you look at the bottle of Tangare, right? Well, I didn't want Tangare, so we went with Martin Miller. And you could use whatever. Let's see, I must have another gin around here. Some vodkas. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I have gins that are just not easily accessible. Martin Miller was kind of clean, fresh. Has a, has not as much um, pine taste, if you will, to juniper. So I kind of wanted to go that direction with it. I didn't want the pine to take over. Like I had juniper. You want to have apricots and aloe. So we went with the gin, and that seemed like a good pairing. But I wanted some other, like, nuances, so that's why I picked up the citrus. Since I like citrus and gin, and it wasn't going to be overbearing to these co- to this cocktail. And after I did that, it was just a little bit, uh, not dry, but it was missing something. It had missing depth, and that was where I thought sweetness would come in. The The Awaken is a little bit sweet. It's got some chunky bits in it and stuff, and it's it's got a little sweetness to it, but with all these other ingredients coming in, it lost some of that sweetness, which is why I brought in the simple syrup, just regular old boil down one part water, one part, part sugar, and to get a little bit of sweetness to it, because I know some of our viewers like sweetness, and to me, gin, without that sweetness, brings a lot of gin, and I'm not a huge gin fan, so I was kind of going for something that was something maybe gin fans weren't, you know... or or lack of being a gin fan, you could still enjoy a gin cocktail. And that's kind of the theory behind it. And then I just started balancing the different flavors to try and make sure you kept enough aloe, which is why I did four ounces of the aloe and an ounce of the apricot and gin together to bring out some of the apricot 
but not too much. And then a little bit of orange liqueur and a little bit of sweetness to it, half ounce of each. And it, it turned out pretty good. Uh, I, I, I haven't got a lot of feedback on it yet. I don't know if anybody's made it yet. It only came out last week. So we got a couple weeks before we'll start to see some of the feedback from that. Um, and the last thing I wanted to end with, let's see how much time do I have left. I'm soloing this. I have no idea how to read my camera output. Whatever. We'll just keep going. Um, is just a word about if you're thinking of inventing cocktails or you just want to figure out where do I come up with all these crazy flavors. I, I just try a lot of different fruits. I've got oranges, limes, lemons right here, right? Those you get that sour bite, mix them together, put them in a, with simple syrup and make like a limeade or lemon limeade and see what that tastes like. Um, clementines, this one's getting a little old, but it's clementine, we got plums. This is just stuff I have in my house all the time because I try to always have fruits for the kids. Uh, this is some sort of peach. I don't know which brand, there's like like five different peaches. Coconut, don't always have these around, but I got a coconut episode. You should experiment with what that coconut water tastes like. Drill a hole, suck it out. It's probably gonna taste a little bit like the Vita Coco. If you don't have a coconut, you can get something like this to, to get the flavors of what that coconut water tastes like. It doesn't taste as coconutty as say, uh, creme de coconut, which has got that super sweet flavor. You should try this or a real coconut to see the differences. Play with it and see what it tastes like. And um, it kind of gives you a little sense of what other type of cocktails might have for nuances. Of course, bananas, if you're into like a, a 99 banana, what's the difference between a 99 banana and muddling a banana in a cocktail, right? Who knows? Um, and some other things I like to experiment with and buy and drink just to get over and over, just get that flavor is the acai right? Acai and blueberry, acai. This one's got a uh, blueberry, pomegranate, and acai. I love pomegranates. I can't get them yet this time of year, but when I do, I want to cut one open because a lot of people don't do that. They don't go out and go, what the hell is this thing? You know, uh, our coconut, what am I going to do with that? Figure it out. Go to YouTube. How do I open a coconut? How do I cut a pomegranate? They'll all have different techniques for you so you can get at whatever's inside and taste it. Um, another thing you could try is if you can get juices that are kind of crazy. This is an apricot see the theme um, and this you get a little you get more flavor in a different way right you get the juice you're getting different flavors in there uh, and it's not just it's pear juice and apricot so it's not just the apricots but it gives you a clue take some juice eat one of these try this figure out the variations and all of a sudden you're like hey I bet you I can make a cocktail with this you never know what you're gonna find right so that's just a, a couple ideas remember go out and buy a fruit and buy one eat it. If you don't like it, you know you don't like the fruit. But at least experiment with different flavors. Uh, aside from all the alcohols, all the other stuff you can put into the spirits. Try them out. See if you like them. Make a cocktail. There. We're teaching you how to drink juice. <laughs>